Welcome to my channel everybody if you haven't been here before. Extra welcome to you. If you're coming back, great. Hopefully this will uh, teach you a little bit more. Help you do a little testing and figure out and solve your own problems. In this case we have a solenoid. This specifically is from a snowplow, but they're used in a lot of applications. There's basically two types. Starter or momentary short term and continuous duty these are continuous duty designed for running constantly and they're built differently so you'll want to make sure you use the right type for your application so most of them have two basic terminals you have your battery terminals and you have your control or your contact or trigger so essentially what these do is they send battery power from one post to the other. So you take a small signal circuit like your ignition and you can run large battery loads, which it would be, you know, whatever equipment, snow plows, whatever. And it uh, disconnects when you remove the control circuit or the trigger circuit. These are basically interchangeable. Doesn't matter which one you put where. And so are the control terminals. So depending on the application and the wiring diagram, there's a couple different ways that you can do it. But if you just want to test, see if it's working or not, if you're working in it and it has everything installed and you just want to go oh does it work or not does my uh, snow plower does my motor or my whatever work you can just jump across these terminals and if it works then probably it's your solenoid these are also known as relays they essentially work the same way so you can check for voltage you know once you figure that out that it does work check for voltage make sure you're getting you know power to it uh, you also need a ground so as I said these are usually uh, battery power usually positive but technically they can be negative also and you can also control it by the negative so in some applications the switch will be done by the negative so your controls are basically positive and negative so, very basic testing is you put negative to one, positive to the other, and you'll hear it click. So what it does is it switches and controls the uh, contacts between these two. You get continuity, is what it's called. So right now it would be off. So if your battery post was right here, you'd have nothing here. But now it just bridged them. Now you'd have power to whatever your load is. Very simple, very easy to do. And like I said, they all kind of work the same way. So you wanna check your wiring diagram and make sure you get your positive and your negative correctly um, a lot of 12 volt stuff is grounded through the base in this case it's not so if it is you know there would only be like one contact um, just in case you're checking like right now nothing's really connected and if you check continuity between these two you would actually get continuity because of the coil don't worry it's fine, you're not going to short anything out. Positive, negative will give you continuity. Any other questions? Leave them in the uh, comments and I'll try to or someone else will answer your questions. I will show you one other way that this also works. Okay, I got this set up for another way some of these are wired, which basically is a single wire and usually it's a negative switched you're going to have a jumper between the battery and the uh, one 
terminal and then your load whatever will be comes off of here so this just gives one wire to control it from whatever your source is so this would be a negative control and essentially if you just connect it it works you get power battery positive out of this terminal because again you get just connect it it works you get power battery positive out of this terminal because again you get continuity between the battery posts so depending on your application usually there's one of the two wiring types this is a a little illustration and description of how to test these so you can verify if it is or isn't working essentially you usually have four contacts you have your your main battery or uh, your battery and your load contacts and these are basically bridged when you operate it so you, you essentially send power to one of the leads to wire it exactly for your application, you'll want to find your wiring diagram. In this case, this is used on Western, and they have really good diagrams. Sometimes there's a, uh, a jumper wire from here to the battery. And other times, like in the application I'm at, there's uh, just two wires that connect to these, and you don't have the jumper wire. But regardless, it still works basically the same way. So these contacts are interchangeable. It doesn't matter, that's why there's no labels, there's no nothing. So essentially, you can have this first one as the battery post, or you can have this one. It doesn't matter as long as they're obviously separated. Uh, these down here are the same way and it's basically operated and tested by connecting negative to one side, positive to the other. Normally, most 12 volt devices, they are grounded or negative through the base or the frame. In this case, it's not. So you can just put negative on either one of these. And then you essentially apply power. And you can hear it, the contacts close and so it works so now if you have uh, power on one of these and you put a meter on the other you would end up getting power through it so the clicking tells you that it's working so like I said you can reverse these you can reverse these it doesn't matter it's just controlled by positive and negative on these small contacts and most of these solenoids are going to be the same way.